We're going through the roads of Romero today. Um, we don't know where we're going to camp tonight, but it's going to be a great ride. The weather's perfect, it's not raining. And hopefully we see a snake today, or a crocodile, because we're in Timor Leste. <laughs> superstitions that exist in Timor, they're sort of fun. Some things like in America we might think you walk under a ladder, it's bad luck, if a cat crosses your path. Mm -hmm. So like those types of like random superstitions that we have, Timor has its own set of them and they're kind of kind of fun so we want to share some of those with you. So first and foremost to start off with is the Leviac or Avo or the crocodile. So kind of the creation myth here for Timor is that the Timor Island was formed on the back of a crocodile. Um, so the Timorese people hold the crocodiles in really high regard here. They view it as their abo, which means grandfather or grandmother, um, and it represents their ancestors. You hear lots of stories about the abo or the like the crocodile, but one in particular that's kind of in unison across the island is um, that if you get bit by a crocodile, usually it means you've done something bad personally or someone in your family has done something bad, or one of your ancestors did something bad in the past. Oh yeah, there, and there's a really interesting story um, that we've heard actually a couple times, is that um, a couple years ago, the parliament here in Timor was making a big decision about a law that was really controversial. A lot of people were in agreement, a lot of people were in disagreement about it, um, and then 
there's the story that uh, a crocodile actually came on land and came up to the front gates of the parliament and just sort of waited there. Um, and the parliament took that as the ancestors were warning them that the law was a bad decision. And so they actually decided not to put the law in place because of the crocodile's appearance. Supposedly it's a real story. Yeah. Um, another good one is if you stub your toe on a rock or sort of like trip over a rock or something in, the, in your walkway, that causes you to lose part of your soul. So like we might think that if, every time your picture's taken, you lose part of your soul. And so you have to turn around and call yourself back from the rock. So if you trip, you like turn around and say, well, Kevin, my, like I'm saying, hey, Kevin, come back to me kind of thing. And if you don't do that, then part of your soul is left there by the rock. And if someone sees you trip, and sees that you don't call yourself back to you, then they will sometimes go and get the rock for you and put it what, under your pillow, pillow. Yeah. Um, to like reconnect that part of your lost soul back with you. So they're trying to help you out. Uh, there's a lot of superstitions surrounding rain. Uh, one in particular is that if rain touches your head, you'll get sick. Um, so oftentimes our host mother, that now lives right up the hill from us, um, our host mother, Almost every time it rained, just going five feet from the front steps of our house to the kitchen, she would put a plastic bag wrapped around her head. And that's many people here, they get really, really paranoid whenever rain starts. Another one is if, uh, if you eat before you shower at night, then that meal is sort of pointless because the shower will make you hungry again. So you're supposed to always shower before you eat dinner. One of the volunteers here, Ariana, uh, told us about one where um, cats are typically considered as bad luck and can cause car accidents. She had a situation... I think that one's sort of universal. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. I love that. So. But, um, bad thing. Ready? Well, one of the other volunteers here, Ariana, had a situation happen where her host sister was bringing her a kitten because Ariana loves cats. Um, but someone in the community had seen that kitten near a car accident that just happened and so they ended up that they had to kill the kitten. If you point at a rainbow, a pig will bite your finger off. If you have worms, it's because you've eaten too many candies. And if you drink your coffee or tea without sugar, it can cause you to get sick or could even cause you to go blind. If you whistle when it's windy, it'll make the wind blow harder. Oh, the placenta. <laughs> The placenta. So the placenta is sort of considered like a twin to Timurese people. Like they, yeah. even when they're older, they will like call back to their twin for advice when they are like needing to make a big decision or something like that. Because um, they were in the womb together. Yeah, because they were in the in the womb together the whole time. So it's like your your companion your companion for life kind of thing. And then another sort of weird thing about the placenta is that after the birth, it is put in a bag tied in a tree. Just like up really high. any bag tied in any tree up high and just left there. And it's there until it's not anymore. And I don't know why. Women here, I've seen it a lot of times in the maternity clinic, um, will have, will wear a metal nail in their hair and supposedly it wards off or protects them from evil spirits or the devil. So we know that this list obviously is not comprehensive. Uh, volunteers here have heard many different other ones, but we just wanted to share a little bit of Team Reese culture with you. Where we are right now is on the front porch for our new house, by the way. We absolutely love it here so far. We are gonna do another tour of the house eventually. We have to wait until it gives the okay, until it's up to her beautification it's standards. <laughs> um, but we really like it here, it's fantastic, and come visit us if you want. We have a spare bedroom. We do. It's our first home together. Yeah, it's our first home. We've only had apartments so far. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Love you.